Welcome back to another great episode. Ooh, wait. I am ready to go with each and every one of you guys. Hey, I'm just another cook, everybody. So don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe right away. It's about to be on. You're going to like what we're going to make today. Let's go. Here we go. Let's do it. We are taking you straight to India today, everybody. I am very happy to be able to make this dish. And to all of my people from India, I love you because I love Indian food. Hey, I'm going to be making one of, one of the great dishes, chicken biryani. Um, so we're going to have that over rice with chicken thighs. And the spices that we're going to put together today is going to be awesome. But I want to give a big shout out because, wow. I went to a place here in Chicago, Metro Spice Market. It's an Indian spice market on 125 South Jefferson in Chicago. So if you're looking for, man, some really great spices, make sure you go and check those guys out. I told them I was going to give them a shout out, but I'm so happy that they have everything galore as far as with Indian, uh, Indian spices to Indian food and all of that great stuff. So let's get it on. Hey, chicken, biryani, let's get to the ingredients. So there's three sections we're going to actually work with here when it comes to making Indian food. So the first one is the rice. Uh, we have one and a half cup of basmati rice. We're going to use one and a half, uh, one and a quarter cup of water. We have one cup of chicken stock. We also have um, three pots of karmadam and one cinnamon stick. Yes. And then we have five cloves of garlic. So this is what we're going to use. I'm going to actually use a rice cooker. Um, you can actually use stove top if you want to. Um, another great tip is to make sure that you rinse off the rice. So that means that you can put it in a nice little bowl or a strainer. Just make sure that it's actually clean and the water is clear once you finish in order to get that fluffy feeling. All right. So we're going to start off with one teaspoon of garam masala. Then we have a half a teaspoon of turmeric. We have a half a um, teaspoon of cumin. We ha also have one teaspoon of coriander powder. I have uh, a half a teaspoon of kasur methi. A half a teaspoon of kasmiri um, chili powder. A half a teaspoon of salt. And a half a teaspoon of amchor powder. All right, so now for the chicken, we're going to actually thinly slice some shallots. We actually have um, a half a teaspoon of cumin seed. We have one uh, tablespoon of garlic paste. Um, and then we also have tomato paste. So what I did was I actually put four tablespoons and have it diluted. We have a pound of chicken thighs where we're going to actually take off the skin and we're going to cut that up into pieces. So we're basically going to be skinless. All right, so we're going to set our oven to uh, 350. Let's get that preheated. So we're going to let that preheat and then we're going to start preparing everything so we can get everything ready to go. Let's get to cutting as far as our shallots. So, and don't forget, these make you cry too. All right, here we go. While our rice is actually cooking, it's time to cut up the meat. So, the little chickens. All right, so the chicken thighs, we're gonna actually take off the skin. You should be able to just peel it right off. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut the chicken thighs into pieces. Just put the skin somewhere. If you like a little fat in the meat, just go ahead and do so. So I'm going to cut alongside the bone here. Some nice 
get as many pieces as you want. Get it right off the bone there. As many pieces as you like. Should give you a nice, nice amount. That's why I like chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are they're so good. Don't get me wrong, I like chicken breasts too, but you know. But it's just the texture of the chicken thighs that I really love. Don't you agree? Okay, thanks. So now we're gonna put this in as far as with our, our mix. Our, bri our biryani sauce. All right, let's put this baby in the oven. We'll be back in 15. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and let it sit for at least 10 minutes. I'm gonna put that on the top of the stove. I got something special for you. We're gonna actually add some naan. So if you actually have some naan, Go ahead and put this in at 400 degrees. I'm gonna put this actually on a rack. We're gonna have that sit for maybe one to two minutes. You know, you want everything to come out hot. Oh, wow. Woo wee! I feel like I'm at the restaurant. Oh my God. This is good. This is really good. I hope you guys had a great time as far as with me today on Cooking with Rico Show. Don't forget to subscribe to that channel. Tell everybody around town, wherever you are, that Rico is cooking from all over the world. I wanna thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Keep those weapons going. Later. So I'm gonna do a half of teaspoon um, of Dang, this is hard, what, what's wrong? That's good? Yeah. Okay, cool, all right. right. <laughs> Y'all look bored. <laughs> I like Rico's.